What's up guys? I got a lot of comments from viewers the other day about the use of ILSpy to decompile the string class in the string equality video now that .NET is open source. Now I did it as a lead-in to future episodes, but since then I've decided to change it up. So today I'm going to show you a better way to see the source code for .NET framework. So first off, Microsoft has made .NET open source. Now this doesn't currently mean what you might think it means, but it's getting there. Now let's start off by looking at reference source, which is a browsable copy of the .NET source code, which is a lot nicer than trying to sift through a project full of source files or looking at a decompiled window. You can navigate to whatever you want using the left hand navigation and drilling down into namespaces to find what you're looking for, or you can just search for it. Let's type in string and go to the string class. Since we are looking at the equals method in the string equality video, Let's go and see what the actual source code looks like. Now, as you can see, it looks a bit different than what we saw in the decompiled version. So this is very handy when you need to figure out how something works, or if you're just interested in seeing how developers at Microsoft write code. Now, have you ever wondered how tasks work? Well, search for task and have a look for yourself. It's all right there for you to examine, and you can find this at ReferenceSource.Microsoft.com Since Microsoft has gone open source, they've gone and put the .NET Core and some other projects on GitHub. And you can go and pull down what's available and play around with it. You can make pull requests, but it's unclear at the moment if pull requests are being accepted, so don't get your hopes up. And you can find this at GitHub.com slash .NET. Now keep in mind, it's not complete. Microsoft is adding more all the time. Uh, but it's at a slow pace for various reasons. Now, this isn't Microsoft's first adventure in open source, though. The ASP.NET MVC code has been available for a while now, as well as some other products like Entity Framework. You can pull down the source for MVC by going to github.com slash ASP.NET, where you'll find access to various related projects. So if you've ever wondered how the Razor engine works, here's your chance to check it out. Now, if you're not familiar with Get or GitHub, you can learn Get in 20 minutes by clicking this video link and watching our episode on Get. Okay, that's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you like this video, click that like button or leave a comment and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.